Hello and welcome to Shapro Tricks. This is Harsh Dhamania, and today I am going to show you how you can make your own custom ROM using the stock ROM or the custom build. You can download them from the XJ developers or any forums of your device. So I am using this AOSP ROM, which is the Android open source project ROM. Just extract the zip file in a folder and open the folder. You will be seeing these files. Uh, Super C U and BusyBox may not be included, but System, Meta INF, Data and Boot Image are mandatory. Open System folder, and you will be seeing a build.prop file. So edit it with Notepad++. Link is in the description. So it is the main file, and uh, everything that you see inside the settings uh, uh, is um, directly connected to build.prop. So here you can edit the name of your ROM. And the user and etc. Like uh, uh, the security patch level and the user, and also you can experiment on it. This file. So uh, before uh, editing this file, I make sure you have uh, some basic knowledge of uh, um, editing the build dot prop. You can see vast amount of videos from YouTube. So here, just edit and experiment on the codes. Like uh, you can change uh, the display name, and uh, whenever you install the ROM, you will be seeing this name on the settings. You can also change the model name. So if you change this, you will see the model name in the settings. As uh, uh, let's just take example Samsung J7 or Samsung S7, just to show off. Nothing else. Um, but I will be preferring you please put uh, the defaults as. Uh, it will not uh, conclude any problems. So after editing, just save the file. Next, uh, you have to go again to system folder, and then inside the system folder, you will see the app option. Inside these, this folder, you will see all the system apps that are that are being included in the ROM. Some are seen and some are uh, running in the background or used as dialer and etc. And you can also see a folder name as Prime App. So there is no difference between the app folder and the Prime App. Both of the folder include the same uh, apps that will be the system apps in your ROM. So let's take an example. I have to install these four as a system app like File Manager, Gallery, Screencast, and Wallpapers. So just copy the folders. Make sure. Uh, uh, inside the folders, you will have to paste the APK files that uh, have to be installed, and some folders have the lib library files also. So make sure all the folder have the APK files, and then copy all the folders and then paste it inside the system, and then app or Prime app, any of the folder. So I will be preferring you please paste it inside the Prime app. If you prompt this, just replace the file destination. I have already pasted the screencast, so these this will be uh, these four uh, apps will be included in my ROM whenever I flash it. So next uh, you will be seeing yeah when we flash the ROM you see some commands that uh, prompts and uh, this ROM will be uh, pre-rooted because BusyBox and SuperCU is in built in this ROM. So I will be telling you how you can integrate them. So open the Meta INF com. Google, Android, and then right-click on Updater Script. And click on Edit via Notepad++. So uh, now I will be showing you some uh, typical stuff. So yeah, here you can see the Show Progress at the first line. Show Progress command states that the command, um, this command is for the progress bar in the TWRP. Second is the UI Print. So UI Print uh, uh, refers that. Uh, uh, means what you will see when you will flash the ROM example uh, you will be seeing flashing AOSP by Shaprotrex while installing the ROM so whenever you will install the ROM you will see these commands at the last you have to put this sign so next command is the set progress 0.1 this means the bar of progress will be increased to some extent I will be telling you how you can integrate the BusyBox and the SuperCU inside your ROM. For this, you have to paste two folders uh, inside your ROM. This folder may differ in uh, differ 
accordingly to android versions now next i will be telling you how you can integrate the busybox and the super cu inside your rom for this you have to paste the folders of super cu and busybox in the root folder of your rom inside this folder you will find the zip file of both the super cu and uh, busybox so you the zip file varies accordingly for your devices and android version so download them from xg developers for your device then you have to type the commands so the first command is ui print so it will print updating busybox then you have to paste this command this big long command i will be providing this command in the link in the description so you can copy this command you have to edit the name of the file only then you have to type the command for uh, super cu so again the command is uh, in the description you can copy it but at the last you have to change the name of the file and then you have to type in the set progress 0.9 so the bar will extend to 0.9 and then you can type any command like ui print thanks for installing in etc credits etc at the last you have to type set progress 1.0 so that uh, it will extend the bar to 100 and your rom will be installed please make sure to put the signs of every command properly else it will cause the problem at last save the file and close the notepad editor now select all the files and folder inside the root folder of the rom and click on add archive then uh, click on the zip file give it a name give it a name and then uh, click on okay so the file will be converted into .zip file just transfer that file into your phone and then flash it via twrp recovery if you encounter any problem please comment down in the comment section uh, if you have liked this video please uh, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel i will be seeing in you in the next one thanks for watching